Hi, my name is Fred Newman. I'm the owner of the View Camera Store, and today I'd like to show you how to use the Shinho PTB 4x5 camera. Just going to mount it on the tripod. Okay, it's secure. Now, the first thing you want to do is loosen up these two knobs on the side so you can raise up the rear standard. Now the, and the back here, let me show you, there's two little levers. So when you push the levers out, it locks it in at 90 degrees. And when you're doing tilting, you just undo those so you can tilt back. But let's just start at the beginning. So first thing we do is flip these two out. So now I'm all set. It locks it in at 90 degrees and I'm going to lock it down. Okay, now we're going to go to the front. We're going to raise up the front standard, and there's a little quarter inch little screw here that goes right into the front, and you've got a choice of one, two, or three little holes depending on the focal length of your lens. So let's just open this up a little bit, raise this up so I don't have to squeeze my fingers in there. Let's just tighten this, and you'll see there's two little dots. You want to line them up so that you're centered, and you want to make sure this is straight over here and right here you got a little scale so we're just going to set this at zero so the lens board is centered and now the camera's set up so in the front we have let me open this up I tightened it an awful lot so you got swing and we have shift so you can got shift and swing and then with the one screw here so let me just level, just get it straightened out again. Okay. Let's just get just right. Okay, there we go. Now on the back, we have the rear tilt like I talked about. Push, push these two in. So you can do tilt in the back. Set this up. And also in the back, you can actually do a little bit of swing by loosening these two knobs. There's one on each side. We get it straightened out again. Now in the front we have front tilt. It's access tilt. So you just use these two knobs here. And again, you've got little levers in here. You want to push these in so we can actually do tilting. And to make sure when you want to re-level it, the front standard, just push these back into a little groove here. So that's your movement for the front. Now interestingly for focusing, there's a knob in the back for focusing. And what that does, it moves the front standard out a little bit. So for maximum bellows, just slide this all the way back till it locks in. And we'll just rack this out all the way. Take a second here. So for maximum bellows we have just a little over 14 inches. So let me put this back together again. Set it back to neutral. And it won't go past in anywhere past here, it just locks in there. Let me move this forward. Now when you have wide angle lenses, you can actually, let me show you here, slide this forward as far as you can go, like this, and then your focusing would be here. And if you have very wide angle bellows, these two knobs keep the bellows straight in the back, and there's a little lever over here for locking the bellows in the front, so you can actually interchange with wide angle bellows. We set this back, and you want to make sure when you put it back that everything is parallel. I'd like to show you how to mount the lens. Just take the lens, the rear lens cover off, and then let's put the lens in. You'll notice the lens has the two little grooves here, and the little cut corners. That's the bottom, and it fits into this little space right here. 
it locks in the bottom and you've got these little levers here put like a little angle piece right in here to keep the lens locked in and on the back when you want to change from putting the film holder in this side there's two little levers that you flip up back comes off put it back in close the levers down and you can do it the other way Oops. there we go locks in and this goes in this way this time this put, I usually you put it this way the film holder in so I'm used to keeping it on that side we'll put it back to normal and okay now to close the camera you undo these two here they, they go outward when you unlock and inward when you lock so we're going to put them this way take off the lens board we're going to loosen this actually I'm going to put the uh, rear lens cap on before I forget we're going to loosen this knob right here for the front swing and front shift so the lock okay you want to loosen these two knobs for the rise and fall you also want to make sure that these two knobs are, are placed in the back in the rear because there's a little groove where this fits in and then you want to set the lens board in the front standard in close this down lock it up and you're ready to go there's just one other thing I want to show you with the rear on the rear lens I would always recommend getting a ground glass protector like the Canon one to fit on here and this this is a really nice ground glass protector especially if you have the uh, optional idea of putting a Fresnel in here this, this ground glass protector fits on both sides of the ground glass and you can see it here let me just take this off so as you see ground glass protectors on both sides okay now I'll lock up the camera there we go I hope that helps thank you